time. If you guys uh, haven't seen them, well, uh, lots of mailbags over on Patreon. And while I was doing the mailbag, of course, you get new projects and new parts. And here's one of the JTAG breakout programmers that I very, very rarely need. And it took me bloody forever to figure out which case my programmers are in. These things are just awesome. This Letra tag I've had for years and years and years. I get the no-name labels. They're not the best, but they sure do the trick, especially when you put a little scotch tape over them. And uh, yeah, way you go. Everything all modular. I just love this storage solution. So happy with it. Same labels, fantastic over here too. Love them. Here's the only problem is that you need to put a little bit of scotch tape on the cheapies. Pretty awesome. Check out the huge sales event at PCB Way. Whole bunch of coupons here for various different orders. Get started with your first PCB order for only five bucks. Save a bunch of money on printing and machining. And also make sure you enter their draw. You can win all kinds of cool stuff. Check this out. I just finished editing the HackRF video, the vlog that you probably just saw recently. This is the timeline for it, and it's a lot of work. I actually really like that format though. It's a lot faster for me to share a bunch of projects with you really quickly, and a little bit work on the edit, but it's kind of fun. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'd actually like to keep doing that style of video as a long-term kind of approach on the channel here. Uh, hope you guys like them, uh, a lot of fun for me video on this will probably be live before I post this vlog, but uh, finally got these together. Check this out. Oh, so happy with this. Finally, I have a breakout for ESP32s that I can use with my home automations and stuff. This will be perfect. I can mount relays here and just mount this right to the wall. Just wonderful. Anytime I'm around home, keep printing off parts for the kits. Roomba kits are a hot commodity these days. Happy about that. These are a lot of fun. Got a little bit of snow. Feels like winter now. But today is metalworking day. Lathe is out. You guys will just have to wait till the videos go live. It'll be a while. I've got some mods to do, but this is a sneak peek of the variable speed mini lathe. It fits just great on the bench. I'm happy about this. It's small enough that I can do small, mainly bushings and stuff and spacers and whatnot, but uh, I think it'll be a capable unit once we modify this with a quick change tool post. Uh, live center for the rear, we've got a drill chuck, uh, I've even got a thread dial indicator here. We can cut threads with this no problem the way it is, but try and make things as easy as we can with a few little mods to hop this thing up. Uh, pretty happy with it. Pretty good shape considering for uh, cheap Chinese overseas stuff. Um, this is seems, I'm really happy. This seems fine. I, I find very little fault. A couple of tiny nicks in the ways nothing to be concerned about i'm happy with this this is the garage workshop coming along just gonna get the k40 out today and tune it up and that's about it but i'm not won't video that you guys can see the other videos the real bugger is this camera my 70d is just hosed i'm having no luck different batteries just keep dying uh, nothing just keeps faulting up i'm not having a good day so i'm gonna give it a rest here i think remember this project finally got it out and I'm starting to work on it. This is the future GOES satellite receiver. This is the Sawbird. This is a low noise amplifier and filter for 1.7 gigahertz. And it's going to be run from this Raspberry Pi, which I finally got set up today. Check this out. I think this, this will actually work pretty good inside the back cover of this case. I'm just going to fasten this keyboard right on it and then mount it out in the garage. How cool is that? I even made some time to play around with uh, one of my Arduinos with the old Nokia 5110. Uh, this is a failing unit and I wanted to do, uh, wanted to scope it and see what was going on. It was, uh, it was fun, just, just fun, no good reason. time again 
got a cool little thing. Check this out. This is a vice, a two-way cross slide vice, a four-inch version that I got cheap off of Amazon to go with my Facebook classifieds find here of a drill press. And what I'm going to do is turn this into a poor man's milling machine. I hope, uh, we'll see, but off the top, got some work to do. This thing is a uh, pretty, pretty chunky. So I need to free some things up and retap some hardware. This is, yeah, no good. It's got a big burr on the end of it where it was smacked. So I gotta run a, uh, a die down that and fix it up, but we'll see. Like everything cheap, you better be ready to spend some time on it. This was, uh, holy smokes, this is going to be a video in itself, but uh, Rolock discs, emery cloth, taps, chasers, and uh, we're not done yet, but it's coming along. This thing should work. It's no milling machine, but it mills. So I just shot the video and I got this thing all cleaned up and mounted and I'm able to mill plastic with it, no problem. Um, soft materials, I think, are gonna be no issue. Aluminum, maybe, but uh, soft materials are where it's at for this thing. And it's still functional drill press, but I've got a milling bit chucked up. I've got full function on my axes. They're nice and smooth now. Uh, quite a little bit of work to free them up, but what can you expect for uh, like a $70 item? Like, it is what it is. This is, this is not a fancy milling machine. <laughs> I'm happy. That's going to do the job. It's a, it's a poor man's milling machine. Wow. Super happy. All right. It's out. Finally started assembling this. This is the antenna I got off of eBay that I'm going to repurpose for the 1.7 gigahertz of the GOES weather sats. And I just have to check which way the LMB should go. I'm assuming it's that way, but I'm just going to check because I know nothing about 2.4 gig antennas. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I got I had to get a pole separate and it should work with some saddle clamps. And unfortunately, I overestimated my time today and I have to go in because it's Riggs's 13th birthday today. And uh, I'm going to spend a little time with him and the wife. That's it for today. Let's uh, get this thing together another time. Pretty happy with how things came along. We've got the lathe now working. Laser cutter working. 3D printer not working. CNC not working. Mill working. Ha! We're winning. And the snow's gone for a minute.